welcome to Kickstarter update number 13. We're in San Francisco right now. We just arrived from Quebec City and we're here for TwitchCon where we will be showing Divinity Original Sin 2 to a whole bunch of Twitchers and try to convince them to support us in these last days of our Kickstarter campaign. Uh, we're going to be showing off a new arena mode. Matt, who is one of the principal scripters of that, is uh, currently explaining it to Sarah who will be helping us present it to the Twitchers and hopefully uh, they will really enjoy what's in there because I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, speaking of the campaign, it's going really well. We are heading towards the next stretch goal at the moment of this filming, which is the, the modding tool. And I know that we're approaching it because my mailbox has been filled with requests from the team with things like, this would be a good idea, and this would be a good idea, and this would be a good idea. So uh, it's clear that there's still some work on our editing tools, but luckily uh, we will now be able to have some dedicated guys that are just going to be making it better and better and better. Now I have another piece of news, and it's a very exciting one. And uh, I'm going to have a Skype call uh, now. And uh, that Skype call is with somebody who might join our team in helping us make the Vinatures into a better game. And so if it goes well, we'll announce it here. And if it doesn't go well, well, then we'll won't announce it, I guess, right? All right, are you, are you excited, Thomas? Okay, I'm very excited about this. So I'm going to do the Skype call now, and uh, I'll ask him if we can film it. And then if he's okay, then you can film and you can share with the world the thing we're about to do. Oh man, I hope he's gonna answer. Uh, uh, I mean, I sent him the story, so maybe he didn't like. Oh, hey, hi, Chris. Oh, hey, Stan, what's going on, man? C can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you quite well. All right. Well, I'm doing this from my Wi-Fi in my hotel, so the, our connection is not brilliant. But um, I'm very curious. I sent you the story. What did you think? Uh, yeah, I thought the story was great. I thought uh, the plot points were really, really clear, and uh, you guys have uh, some incredible locations and some incredible enemies planned and it looks pretty damn sweet. All right, super. So we had a conversation at PAX, we saw each other as a result of a, a certain pressure uh, <laughs> from certain corners <laughs> and uh, so and then we, we had dinner and uh, we found a lot of common ground so that's when we started talking about maybe doing something together so are you up for it? I totally am and I think uh, I'd like to thank the community for uh, to get us together to meet because uh, uh, that's been a missed opportunity. Not and Swin, it's absolutely a pleasure hanging out with you. Pack. We have the, uh, the same mindset when it comes to design and storylines. So it's fantastic. I think I heard good things in there, but the hotel Wi Fi is so bad. <laughs> We're going to have to try to, to do that, but I, I, th I take it that was a yes. That was a yes. That's fantastic. All right, super. Uh, well, then uh, I look very much forward to it. I am a very big fan of everything that you've done before. Uh, I know that a lot of our fans oh, is, uh, are big fans of uh, what you've done before. So um, should lead to very cool things, right? So I'm very curious what's going to come I, up. Uh, we've got some amazing magic planned. It's going to be good. <laughs> And thanks again to the community for bringing us together. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that is. Uh, so sometimes reading the codex can lead to good things. Uh, so I, I, I never would have thought, but uh, codex. Thank you. <laughs> All right, super, Chris. Well, I'll be in touch very soon. What the moment that I find some better internet connection, and uh, then <laughs> we can get cracking on this. But I'm looking very much forward. Thanks, man. Oh my. Thanks, Ben. Take care, man. Take care, Chris. Bye-bye. Super. See, this is what is cool about Kickstarter campaigns. If we hadn't uh, gone to Kickstarter with Divinity Original Sin 2, if we hadn't shown it at PAX, if we hadn't launched user voice where uh, members of the community could vote what they wanted to see in the game and in the campaign, then I would never have met uh, Chris Avalon at PAX. It was because people voted him. How much votes did he get? Like 953 votes wanted uh, Chris Avalon to be writing something on the game. And as a result of that, we got in touch with each other over Twitter. As a result of that, uh, we met each other, we had dinner, we got lost in Seattle. Uh, uh, then the next day he came to try out the game, got really excited about that. Then uh, a little bit later on we started talking to one another, I sent him the story, I, uh, he, I sent him an origin story, he read those, he said, okay, uh, this works well, I would like to write on that, and now suddenly he is writing on the Divinity Original Sin 2, and I'm very excited about it because uh, he, he's done a few things. Sarah, do you know uh, the games that Chris has worked on? 
Chris has worked on basically every RPG in the genre from uh, Planescape Torment to Icewind Dale, Neverwinter Nights, uh, Fallout, uh, yeah, Baldur's Gate. Okay, 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 he's going to start sold, sounding old. And, uh, but uh, yes, so he has quite a few uh, games under his belt and I'm, I'm very, very happy that he's going to be working on the game. Also very curious what he's going to come up with because we just done some of all the stuff that we've been working on and now he's going to come up with something new and then we'll see uh, what that will be. Uh, okay, so... Uh, uh, that means that we're starting to get quite a lot of the things that you wanted to have on user voice sorted out. Um, we had, well, okay, we're not going to do the adult mode, so forget that. But we have more playable races, so that's in there. Uh, the day and night cycle, that's not going to happen. We have four-player co-op. Romance stretch goal. Well, we have the advanced relationship uh, stretch goal coming up, which is going to include romance. So hopefully we're going to make that. Then it was stretch goal Chris Avalon, so that's check. Extensive mod support. Well, that's a stretch goal which we're about to reach, so very happy about that. Co-op dialogue, we haven't really shown it, but it is in there, so check on that. Destructible environment, well, there's definitely stuff that you can destruct, so we're starting to get there. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. More role-playing options, that's in there. Expanded crafting system, check. Uh, that's romance again, so that's double for advanced relationships. Customizations for the protagonist, we have a few. We're maybe still talk about those, we'll see where we end up with. Uh, and then uh, finally we have killing shouldn't be the solution for everything and that is obviously also going to be the case. And then we have a darker more brutal world, uh, world with black humor violence and psychological thriller story. Well, I mean, we'll see what the storyline is, but trust me, uh, there's some cool stuff in there. Okay, thank you very much for watching this particular update. Very happy about it. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be at TwitchCon, we're going to be showing off uh, our new stuff there. And then obviously we're going to share that with you in our uh, next update. Take care everybody and uh, have a fantastic day.